Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a set of videos looking at the Age of Sigmar starter set box. I'm going to be looking at models or units from the box. I'm going to be looking at them in greater detail, sharing my opinion with them, and at the end of the video, I'm going to be comparing them to other sized models that they have. So what's up this week? This week we have the Stormcast Eternal Prosecutors. That's right, we have the flying guys. Um, these are very, they're pretty. I don't want to keep saying these models are great, so I'm going to use a different word. They're pretty, they're very nice looking. Um, you know, I just, I really do like these models. And um, I know a lot of people are a bit mixed with the Stormcast Eternal guys, but the, these prosecutors really are nice. Um, I think the design of these is brilliant. The wings are nice, the way it's just, you know, it's only relying on the kind of scrolls coming down. And they are a little bit fragile, you know, they do wobble. Um, they can be a little bit off balance, they'll tip over a little bit easier. But, um, you know, it's the price you're going to pay for something that's looking so nice like this. The, the things you can come up with, with basing for this is fantastic. Um, you only get three of these, you get one unit. Um, you know, they have like magic hammers that can shoot missiles as well. I was just reading the rules here a few minutes ago. Um, you know, they're pretty much the same detail as the rest of the Stormcast Eternal guys. Um, the only addition is, you know, you get the wings. You get these really cool looking wings. You get the Sigmar Comet on them. Um, you know, that's pretty much it then. You have the usual metal tops on them, you know. The helmets are different, you get different kind of helmets, they're really nice to go up through the back of the head and over the top of it. If you could focus on it, and you see the little comet on the top of it as well. So they're just really nice little details like that on it. Um, the, problem, the only problems I had with these guys, and let's see if I can find one on this. Um, I was clipping them off the sprue, yeah I still have a little bit here on this one, this part here. You know, it's, you'll see on the tip of this, you see the little white bit right on the tip of it? Yeah, that, this, that's where they are on the sprue, they weren't up on the top, well maybe one bit was, like there's a little bit there. But these were, these were really fragile, you know, see look, the bend. So I think putting them on the sprue and stuck to the part on the end of these little wingy parts was, completely wrong it was really hard to get them out without damaging it's hard to clean that up without digging into the plastic now people who are more experienced and you will do a much better job than i am but i'm looking at it as kind of you know i'm an average hobbyist guy i'm not brilliant but i'm not crap you know i can do what i can and um, you know it's kind of hard to clean them up without maybe denting into the plastic a little bit and um, putting them together they went pretty good the wings the only tip i'll give you the wings clip them out first and because the wings are too separate and you glue them together um, and then you glue them onto the guy so what you'd want to do is clip them out first glue them together and get them into a position where they can hold you can leave them there for a few minutes to set and dry you know so they won't be like falling one wing won't be falling off they won't be falling off together or anything um, other than that, they went together pretty easy. Um, you know, the pauses on these guys are really nice looking out. I'll just keep looking at them. These, I think these are probably the best unit out of the Age of, or not the Age of Sigma, the Stormcast of Tons. You know, the pauses are really nice, they look really dynamic. Um, one of the things, I have to find which one it was now. Um, one of them was broken on the sprue when I got it. There you go. Um, and unfortunately, it was right on the parchment part here. If we'll focus, you'll see, see a little bit of glue there on the left one. And I literally shit myself. I said, fuck, how am I going to put this on? That piece is so tiny. You see, look, it's so thin. And um, how am I going to fix that on? Because it's at the base of it. That's what's going to be supporting it. I know there's another one next to it. And I thought, oh shit, fuck, what, what am I going to have to do? So I took a chance, put put the thick glue on, and it worked. It really did held, it really did hold together pretty well. You know, it's just as wobbly. 
like the other ones and it looks like it's under no pressure at all on the bottom of it so that worked pretty well um comparing these guys with size is gonna be pretty hard you know they're gonna pretty much i go straight to the ogre guy here first right because no they're flying up just lower the camera a bit Um, like obviously they're taller than anything else with the wings, the flying effect and everything. But um, they're the exact same as the Storm cast of Tarmel guys. You know, if they were base size like that, the Ogre would tower over them. The giant running man, there's no size comparison. He'd probably, you'd probably be able to fit him in there like an Iron Man suit or something like that, and he'd still be too small. Um. To pretty much tower over Space Marine, you know, and it's that pose as well that they have. It makes them look really dynamic. It makes them look really great. Like it really does look like they're flying around. You know, they're much taller than a Terminator. Terminator is much bulkier, bulkier as usual. You know, you can kind of get a side view there. He is much bulkier. But it's all about the pause of these guys. Um, even as I move him, he wobbles. Um, you know, you're going to have to put a bit of weight on the bottom of the base as well because if you're putting these on the table, they go very, very easily. You know, even just wobbling the table, they wobble. They're going to fall over pretty easily. But saying that, for such a nice looking model, it's, I think it's worth it. They're fantastic. It's a really nice looking unit. Uh, it's going to look fantastic on the battlefield, especially if you do up the bases, whatever you want to do with it. Um, give it a dynamic flying look. Um, they can be flying over the battlefield, um, flying at the edge of some water maybe, put some water on the rocks if you want. Um, you know, it's going to look great. So that's it. We have the Stormcast Eternal Prosecutors. Really nice looking model. Uh, fantastic pose, really dynamic looking. Um, yeah, two thumbs up for me. So as usual, hit the like button and comment at the bottom. Leave your own opinions and everything. Subscribe if you haven't. And as usual, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next video.